Welcome to this video. The Austronesian expansion is backed with a lot of evidence and is an intercontinental expansion. In my opinion there is much more evidence for the Austronesian expansion than there is for the consensus out of Africa expansion. Important is to note that both expansions are in the same period 50 to 70 Kia and in the same intercontinental region. Both expansions are related to existing hypotheses, but expand in opposite directions, so most probably only one is dominant and presents the population of our planet with modern humans. In the Austronesian expansion a rather advanced navigation is essential. The hesitation of consensus to consider throughout and advanced navigation increases the paradigms that surround the consensus out of Africa expansion, for example lack of the necessary genetic and archaeological evidence before, West in Asia, during and after, East in North America, the crossing of Beringia. I hypothesize that consensus out of Africa expansion could have populated or back populated part of the world with modern humans, but only when advanced navigation is considered. Constant strong currents. Furthermore, I hypothesize that the role of constant, Strong currents is essential to any advanced navigation that takes place. This made me make the map with such currents the basis for studying the population of our planet with modern humans. The map of ideal currents for navigation is enriched with the groups that are at the base of these currents and consequently transported by the currents. All parts of the minimum and maximum Austronesian expansion spread Native American markers like also M45. Example. The dominant group in the Americas is Q. So Q is pictured at the basis of currents departing from the Americas. 1. Atlantic current to South and Central Africa delivers L. A. B and independently M to Africa. 2. Atlantic current to Europe and North Africa and Mediterranean delivers Neanderthal, marked by B006, and followed by other near basal haplotypes B052, B064, typical or also markers for Native Americans, etc. Cro-Magnon related to the American Clovis culture and C and R, which both have their roots in the Americas, to Europe and Neanderthal, E and R to North Africa and Mediterranean. 3. Pacific Current to Australia, Austronesian 1 South, delivers Aboriginal with Native American signal and C. 4. Pacific Current to Japan, Austronesian 1 North, delivers C, D to Tibet, O to China and Jaman to Japan. The Mongol expansion spread the Native American Diego blood group system markers. 5. Indian Current to Andaman Islands, Myanmar, Irrawaddy River, delivers C, D to Tibet. 6. Indian Current to Africa, Persian Sea, Middle East, Red Sea, Nile, Egypt, Horn, Madagascar, West Africa, Mediterranean, Europe, etc., delivers E to Africa. 7. Arctic or Ice Route to Northeast Asia, not necessarily a current involved. Delivery of Haplotypes Figure with haplotypes in chronological order. I present strong indications in this and other videos that Native Americans are the origin in the represented figure. B006 is found at the root and is the oldest haplotype, 
and it is most frequent in the Americas, which is a strong indication for the Americas, the Native Americans and haplogroup Q being the ancestors of all humans. The figures present their frequencies and based on known roots I deduce the expansion of B006 and others along. The figure presents the expansions of haplotypes associated with the discussed currents. Further this reveals associations between haplotypes and expansions. The figure presents the expansion of groups associated with the discussed currents. Neanderthal, Austronesians east of Australia, Austronesians west of Australia, Jaman, Wutai, etc. This map is a kind of a tool that can check and visualize almost any association related to the expansion of modern humans, and this can go as far back as the Neanderthal and Denisovan, or even further back in time. Thank you for watching. Bye.